Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be the next edition of the Ghostly Take. As we go over, unfortunately, the Lehigh Valley Phantoms game being postponed this weekend at Providence due to COVID protocols affecting the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. And really combined with the Philadelphia Flyers, because as the great Tony Androck has tweeted, uh, due to all the people that are up with the Flyers due to their COVID protocols, combined with Maxime Shusko, Isaac Ratcliffe, and also the captain Cal O'Reilly being out on the Phantoms COVID protocol, the games were postponed this weekend against the Providence uh, Bruins. The games have been rescheduled for Monday, April 11th, and Tuesday, April 19th. And of course, the Phantoms organization continues to follow enhanced protocols. Now, on the Flip note to kind of flip it to a glass half full perspective, at least you got to see Igor Zamula make his season debut with the Philadelphia Flyers tonight, um, and it gives guys more opportunities. We've seen Wilman get um, good success and have some big successful moments for the Flyers in his play up there and the opportunities he's given, same with Morgan Frost, so it allows these guys to have opportunities to play up and see what they can do. Right now, losing 3-1 to one to Pittsburgh as I record this video. Big Z had a couple giveaways, but also a couple nice blocks and nice plays in his first game. Eager Zamula up with the team this year. And Cam York has looked pretty good again and not outmatched at all. Has a couple hits as well as blocks again. And the big thing on him, I, w I won't say not, but the big thing on him when it kind of sounded like when Chuck Fletcher talked about him is will he be ready physically enough to be up yet full-time and it doesn't seem like he's afraid of anything thus far in his first two games and then Big Z has looked solid as well he just looks like how he has in the minor sometimes he has those little giveaways but then he bounces right back from them because he had that elite level skill that's why he was one of the most underrated undrafted pickups um that the Flyers were able to get and probably is going to become a good cog um, of this defense moving forward. Obviously, as I talked about in the Hockey Raiders Inc., check out that show as well on Steel Flyers' um, YouTube channel that I did with Lance. The Flyers need more right-handed defensemen, but Zamula and Cam York are both good left-handed ones. That's for damn sure, and they're getting an opportunity uh, to see what they can do tonight uh, because of all the people out for the Flyers. So it's nice to see um, all of those guys get opportunities as well, I'm um, up with the Philadelphia Flyers to be able to see what they can do, as well as obviously we got to see Jerry Mayhew only in one game, uh, but I thought he actually looked pretty good in that game that he got to be inserted into, or two games, excuse me, he has played in two games as well. We got to see him in two games, um, and he's looked pretty solid. Um, I thought he looked really good in the one game he was inserted in. Uh, he played in the Ducks game as well the other day, but the uh, one game he was inserted in against Seattle, uh, he was flying around the ice there and actually looked pretty good. I um, mean, his handful of shifts getting a shot off, and then he looked solid in the Ducks game. So he had some speed, so he's getting some time in the NHL he wouldn't normally get. So in the glass half full perspective, yeah, unfortunately the games are postponed because of COVID protocols affecting the Flyers and the Lehigh Valley Phantoms this weekend. But for the Philadelphia Flyers' perspective, today you're getting to see Zamula, York play. We got to see Samson play up. We got to see Mayhew play up already. Wilman and Frost have been doing well. Uh, we're going to get to see against San Jose, unless if a bunch of people clear protocol, you're still going to get to see people in that are normally Lehigh Valley Phantoms against them. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Obviously, York, if he keeps impressing, will he come back down or will it be like Frost and Wilman, honestly, at this point, and they stay up because of their play. So it's going to be interesting to see um, what happens with those guys going forward if one of those guys between Zamula and York end up playing themselves into staying up just like Wilman and Frost have done. But we'll have to see going forward. All in all, though, it has been fun seeing these guys rise to the NHL again. Obviously, a couple of coffees have been for York and Zamula before this year, but this is their first time they're actually going to have a chance, if they do well, to actually stay. And then that's going to affect the Phantoms lineup that I'll talk about in a future video going forward, but also is a great positive for these guys to come up and make an impact in the Flyers lineup that needs all the help they can possibly get as well. So I hope you all enjoyed this edition of the Ghostly Take. Um, as we went over the Phantoms game being postponed, but also the Glass here full perspective of guys getting great opportunity at the NHL level. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.